Okay, in this video I'm going to solve part C of the cliff problem. So the problem that we're solving here is Red Elk throws a ball with a horizontal velocity from the roof of a building that's 21 meters tall. The ball lands 17 meters from the base of the building. We've already answered A and B in the previous video, all of this stuff, right? And C says what is the velocity and position of the ball 1.1 seconds from its release. So here's the ball in midair, it's like right there. And we want to know how far over it is and how far down it is. Okay, And we also want to know how fast it's moving to the side and how fast it's moving down, what this velocity is as an angle and a magnitude. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a, a horizontal vertical table here. Got to set up our own now. It's kind of wild. H and V. And then displacement, initial velocity, final acceleration, time. Displacement, initial, final acceleration, and time. Okay, Like that. And now we've got to figure out which things we can sort of steal from that other one, right? Okay. Which ones can we kind of steal from that? And I think uh, the 1.1 seconds goes in for our time, right? I think our acceleration here is zero. This is true for all projectile motion problems. I think that guy's negative, right? <laughs> okay. I think our vertical velocity is uh, zero. Because it's a purely, it says it's a purely horizontal velocity, right? Okay, and then let's see, I think 1.1 seconds, I think we don't, oh, we do know this. Yeah, we do know that. There we go. I think we know it's got the same horizontal velocity, so 8.216 meters per second. We figured that out from part uh, B, right? 8.216 meters per second, okay? And now we're all set. We just have to fill in this thing here, right? Well, this is easy. The only thing we ever do horizontally is S is UT, right? So 8.216 times 1.1 alpha V. I stored that thing in here somewhere. There it is. Okay. So I've actually stored that. So I'm going to go that times 1.1. And I'm getting 9.038. Okay, that's meters. Okay, and now let's see. I'm going to figure out uh, V. I think I'll use V equals U plus AT for that guy. So that's going to be 0 plus negative 9.81 times 1.1. Uh, so negative 9.81 times 1.1. Negative 10.791. Okay, and then let's figure out our displacement here. Uh, I'm going to use S is UT plus one-half AT squared. Okay, so that's zero plus one-half negative 9.81 times 1.1 squared. So 0.5 times negative 9.81 times 1.1 squared. That's negative 5.935. And again, I'm not rounding because I'm not quite done with the problem, right? Okay, so now we've filled in the table here, and it asks for the velocity and the position of the ball at exactly 1.1 seconds from its release, right? Okay, well, the, the position of the ball is easy. Here it is, it's, and this, there's no easier way to do this, right? It's 9.038 meters in the x direction, and with sig figs, we'd have to say 9.0 meters over, and 5.9 meters down, right? Or we could say 9.0 meters x hat plus negative 5.9 meters y, okay? That's where it is, right? So there it is on this thing, right? This distance here is, is uh, 9.0 meters, and this distance here is 5.9 meters, okay? And now let's figure out the velocity of the thing. Well, the velocity is this right here. Okay, that's its final velocity, right? So the final velocity is, we could write it two different ways, right? We could write it as uh, 8.2 meters per second x direction plus, uh, I guess with two sig figs I'd have to say negative 11 meters per second y direction. 
But almost always, if they say velocity, they want angle magnitude. So let's do that. Over, down, 8.216 over, 10.791 down. The magnitude is going to be the square root of 8.216 squared plus 10.791 squared. So the square root of 8.216 squared plus 10.791 squared. And that's 13.56. So I'd have to say 13.6. Really, we'd have to say 14 meters per second. That's its speed. If somebody says, what's the speed? That's speed right there. Okay? And now let's find the angle so that it's a velocity vector, right? We've got to find the direction. Well, that angle right there is going to be tan minus 1 of 10.791 divided by 8.216. So inverse tan of 10.791 divided by 8.216. That's 52.7 or 53 degrees. Okay, so there's the position, there's the velocity, for a speed of 14 meters per second, or 13.56, or however, right? Okay, at an angle of 53 degrees below the horizontal. Okay, that's all there is to it.